your document outline in R Markdown. One of my favorite features uh, of R Markdown and R Studio is the document outline stuff. So this little button right here, if you oh, click on this and toggle it in R Studio, it'll show you the outline of your document. It'll show you the headers, it'll show you the code chunks, and you also have this thing right here for this too. I don't really care for this one. I really like the outline tree like this. So one of the cool things about this is that it will show you all of your headers and it will indent them based on the level of the heading, but it also does that for the code chunks underneath it. And you can actually call your code chunks specific things. Like this one is called pressure before it has its custom options, you know, saying, setting its um, echoing to false, but pressure is right here. You can see this code chunk and then you can click on these and actually go to those items. This one doesn't have a name and code chunks without a name just give you the number of the chunk. So CSS, I could just do styles. There we go. Now this code chunk is named styles, but it's a CSS code chunk. It works for any code chunk. Um, and then if you have any options, custom options after that, you just do a comma and then you can start typing your own custom options. Um, but one thing I really enjoy about this is that you can do this with each header. So each of your headings like this, you can do different things. And um, right below our markdown, if I do another one, subheading um, and it will appear here but what if you want to have what if you have a very large code chunk and you want certain sections of that code chunk to be in here but you don't want to have to break it out into separate mini chunks because you still want all of that complexity encapsulated in a single code chunk that you could then collapse or something so how do we do that so one thing we can do is in my um, cars chunk right here let's just say we have um, you know, this is the summary portion. So let's just do, um, I have this uh, little snip at the bottom of my uh, our workflow document on GitHub. There's just the, the bottom part in tips is this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add summary because that's what, what this is. This is the summary part of cars. And we're gonna add five dashes, one, two, three, four, five. And, or maybe it's just four, four will work, but I'll just do five. Um, summary now appears in the section area under cars. So we go into cars, but then you also go to summary now. So this is the way we could break out certain sections of our own code. So if I want to say, um, you know, this is going to be the subset and I'm going to take cars and I'm going to shove that into, um, deplier. Oh shoot, what even is in the cars data set? Speed distance, okay. So I'm just gonna take where um, speed is greater than, let's just do eight. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got some cool stuff. And then let's do distance greater than 15. Cool. And we're going to assign that to data. And then we're gonna add another section, plot, one, two, three, four, five, plot data. There we go, cool. So now we have each of these subsections in our own code chunk cars, and it's all broken out here. Now this is obviously a very simplistic example, but if you had a very large uh, code chunk with hundreds of lines of code or something or whatever you had, you can actually do this to break out into your document outline a uh, example subheadings of your code. I find this useful and I do use this. Um, it also would be useful for uh, writers or people using blog down or doing technical writing because if you're going to be writing about large swaths of code and you want to keep your own self organized in your document outline, you could do this or you could just use this for um, if you're a writer and you write your documents in R Markdown. If you're writing a paper, if you're writing an essay, if you're just writing a novel or something, using Bookdown, you're using R Markdown by itself. Um, a lot of options you have. That's the cool thing about R Markdown is that it's so flexible. Really, it supports multiple workflows and anything you wanna do. But this is the syntax for your own custom uh, subheading underneath code chunks. And it supports multiple words too. It's just hashtag and then whatever the phrase is and then the dashes and you'll have your own headings. So enjoy.